Ori and Haste is a game that is a clear throwback to the golden age of side-scrolling shooters, obviously very heavily influenced by the classic Contra games. While it does capture the essence of the genre and makes a few changes, none of them are anything that really is can't miss. One of the more immediate differences that you will notice is actually the toned down difficulty level. While it does still take one hit to lose a life, it is more forgiving in that it does include some level checkpoints, so if you've depleted your entire stock, you do still retain some level of progression. The other big change, and perhaps the most glaring one, is the lack of a multiplayer mode. Cooperative gaming has long been a staple of the genre, and the lack of a two-player option feels like a missed opportunity to inject some further life into the title. The player can collect three weapon upgrades throughout the course of a mission that they can swap freely between and actually stay with them even upon death. So there's no need to worry about an errant bullet or a missed jump forcing you back to just the basic gun. Orion Haste does add some diversity to the gameplay by periodically moving away from the traditional run and gun action with some auto scrolling shoot 'em up sections. These parts will still involve you just holding down the fire button, but instead of platforming, you're going to focus more on dodging. Controls in Orion Haste are responsive and tight, allowing for precise movement and shooting. Once you get accustomed to the stationary aiming mechanics, you'll find yourself effortlessly mowing down enemies with satisfying precision. However, the input is not without its frustrations. While jumping mechanics are generally functional, there will be times that a low ceiling or a gap that extends the exact distance of your jump will lead to some annoying retries. While the inclusion of a game map allows for revisiting previous levels, the lack of collectibles or unlockables means that replay value primarily hinges on improving speed time runs, which may not appeal to all players. Even if you are forced to retrace your steps a few times because you haven't gotten the level layout down, or mastered the pattern of a particular large-scale boss fight, you're still looking at only a short playtime of a couple of hours. Ori and Haste is a game that benefits just as much from its low cost as it suffers from its lack of co-op and replayability. Nonetheless, its nostalgic charm and accessible difficulty may warrant a look from fans of the genre. Ori and Haste earns a 6 out of 10.